so I was just talking to your husband, and you know, they always say don't work with friends, don't make, take money from friends, and don't work with your wife. <laughs> I thought it was don't play tennis with your wife, but it's also <laughs> don't film. <laughs> well, I think we proved them wrong. I love working with Bill. We've been working together for 20, 25 years now. Um, this is the first proper movie I think we've done together, but uh, working with him is always a good idea. He makes you better. Why is it good to be directed by an actor? For me, it was the first time actually experiencing that, and I feel like I could watch him be more comfortable in certain situations and speak into Billy and speak into me and and make me feel like he understood. You know, there are often times where sometimes I could be a little frustrated and not understand what directors are trying to say, and and for him, I never felt that. He he does push you. He does make you better in a really wonderful way. And everybody, apart being a part of this movie, did, had done that for me. Mm. If you two are going to describe what type of film, Rudderless says, what type of movie is it? Mm. Hmm. What type of movie? I, feel like I guess it would be a musical drama. Mm -hmm. Or a musical dramedy. There is certain lightness. To yes, that not I too was, much. Yeah, musical dramedy. Maybe, mm -hmm. but I also feel that it is a movie of, of, you know, Felicity said it best, of love and hope and redemption. How did the boys' singing skills uh, chop up? Being a singer, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not being critical. It's a, it's actually a totally different genre for me. I've done acoustic shows before, but it was really beautiful. They have a totally different connection than you know pop music for me. So. If anything, I learned a lot from them, and uh, it was fun for me. Yeah, music adds a whole other element. It's a whole other character for the movie. So uh, it's interesting that you're both sitting uh, in front of me, because both of your kind of Hollywood journeys are, are different, and you're both at different times in your life. So when you look at her, and you look at her, uh -huh. what do you think of? What do you, you know, think of the journeys that you two are going through currently or have gone through? Honestly, I'll say it really quick, because I instantly, my heart was, uh, I remember I was in Felicity's kitchen and I shared some, it was almost like a mama feeling. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing because she has daughters of her own. And for me, I, I love learning from, and I respect her so much. And I, I feel like it's just amazing for me to feel like I can ask her the most random things or just tell her what's on my heart. So it's actually it's good. It's nice for me to, to have Aww. Aww. <laughs> I was going to say, I look at her and I'm in awe. That's what I think. I go, God, I'm just in awe. She's 22, wonderful businesswoman, wonderful actor, wonderful artist, and she's got a really clear eye on the North Star. Is there, you know, I'm going to have to swear here, but I'm not on camera, so it doesn't matter. Is there... A protectiveness over her because all the shit that she has to go through with all the stuff that the media puts Selena through. I can't imagine the stuff that you go through and I'm not actually in touch with the media so I only know it by people saying that or you talking about it because I, I actually just don't plug into that stuff. Is there protectiveness? Yes. <laughs> Yes, when we were together, I guess a couple weeks ago, it made me want to actually jump, turn the car around, and go and yell at people <laughs> or punch them. So how can you not be protective of something as as good as this? It's just, this is part of the good. So how do you maintain the thick skin? Because even when I was 22, I can't even fathom the shit that you have to go through. How do you maintain that thick skin? Um, my fans. And I don't mean to say that in a cheesy way. I mean it because if not, if I didn't just pick myself up and keep going, what would I teach them what they're dealing with? And at the end of the day, these are grown adults trying to talk about kids. And, and I know I'm 22, but I, I've, been do, I've been talked about since I was 14. So people saying, you know, be yourself and who is that? And you're just, you don't know who that is yet. And I'd rather be somebody to say, I'm just gonna keep going, I'm just gonna keep going, and I love what I do, and I love the people who love on me. And I'm not gonna lie, it gets really hard sometimes. I, I have to have those moments with with someone like a Felicity or, or my or my family, and you know, I think that's what's important. Uh, I don't want them to win. <laughs> mm. Thank you so much. Well put. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I know.